Uh, we're back to nature scenes. <laughs> this is titled as Twilight Approaches. This is figure 409 in the Fox book. Look at the rosy glow in the back. The sun is setting. The animals are coming home. Isn't that one pretty? This one is titled A Garden Spot. And I think most of us have had this for a long time. This was one of the first uh, the forest that I found anyway. Mutual surprise. The figure in the boat, the uh, deer or elk or whatever on the side, uh, they are both surprised. <laughs> this one has a lot of color. A barrel of fun. I don't know if the punts are having fun, but the little boy is having a lot of fun. But he has what I guess you call a romper suit that no boys used to wear. Okay. This is prize winners. And if you will look, it is the same girl that was in the figure eight, which is Age of Innocence. The same little girl <coughs> posed, or was used in both of these. And did you pose for this? I did not. You did not. All right. It could easily be you. Okay. Now we skipped one. Uh, Bill, can you run it back? Uh, meditation. Okay. Anyway, meditation uh, was the girl in the back of the book, figure 415. And I thought I had a slide on it, but guess not. Now this is Charles Wainwright, and we have his signature several different ways. This is titled Me and Dixie, and it is signed Thomas, or T-H-O-S, Wainwright, which is different from the C. But the content, you know, of these prints are the, you know, the typical flowers in the grass, the uh, fluffy clouds, the child. Uh, is this familiar to any of the Fox family? Not to you. Let's go on to the next one. Now this is called being helpful. And this is sign F. Wayne Wright. The 1929 calendar has the typical collie family dog. And did you wish to say something? No, I didn't. All right. I was just trying to say, I remember very, very well. This calendar? And when it was done. And when it was done. Well, could you uh, tell us a little bit more about it? Oh, I really couldn't. If I could, I'd be happy. All right. <laughs> but Ann does remember this one. Okay. I didn't hear This is Rover, the family dog that is in so many of the prints. Now the next one, it's titled, The Favorite. Everyone 
love the horse and girl yeah. pictures. Those are very sought after. But isn't that beautiful? This is untitled, The Girl in Blue with a Bucket and the Cow. Jersey, I suppose. But isn't that beautiful? <coughs> now this one is the oil that was pictured in the Fox book, signed bathrooms and this one you can plainly see has Wainwright you know as the artist so that gave us the first proof that Fox did indeed use pseudonyms if this uh, print has also been discovered titled The Unbroken Bond of Friendship. So it goes by two titles. <laughs> this one is 100% pure. The titles of the prints are uh, you know, it's interesting, sometimes says the print. This one is a garden of flowers. And known to most of us, most of us have this one. Can you see the little boy fishing? This is titled, The Old Fishing Hole. Now there is a fox print, very much like this, with the little boy on the other side. But they're very much alike. This one is titled Paradise Valley. <coughs> Two Medicine River Falls. Montana. At sundown in the Golden West, there's a lot of purple in this. Dark, dark purple. The mountains are where the waterfall is coming down. But this is a calendar top. Also, and you can tell it has a, a deco barter. So it was done, you know, in the early, uh, late 20s or early 30s. Nature's white mantle. Does everyone have this? I think this is a very published print. Most of us do have this one. <laughs> we need to get a print of this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one is titled Overlooking Emerald Bay. Overlooking Emerald Bay. Another nature thing. This is the echoing call. And the elk is on the edge of the lake calling to a maid or who knows what else that okay. this one is titled paradise and it is figure 405 in the book this is a familiar one to us also The flavor of fall. <coughs> there are several of these, and if you don't have them together, you would be uh, hard put to tell which is which. But 
This one is titled, The Flavor of Fall. This one is titled, A View Through the Timber. Oh, that must last Anyway, reverse that. Okay, this one is titled, A Flavor of Fall. The other one is A View Through the Timber. I'm sorry. They are. They're hard to tell apart. And this one is titled Under the Greenwood Tree. No, the first one is under the Greenwood Tree. That's right. When I saw that, so our slides are. Can we back Mother up? Her. No, that's okay. They'll, they look a lot alike. So we'll say this one is, what did you say, Barb? The first one was under the green one. Okay. And the next one was a flavor of fall, and this is a few through the timber. Okay. We have that straightened out. The next one, this is right, a house by the side of the road. <laughs> and this one right. <laughs> Sentinels of the past, it is figure 403 in the book. I think most everyone has this. I like the calendar. Okay. This one is meditation, and it is figure 415. Isn't that one really sweet and a little bit out of character for Wainwright? The car? This one's what I was looking for. All right. That, that one is the forest, and it was in with the Wayne, Wainwright sign. Plainly said. Okay. Now this one is from Barcraft and it's called FRA Fra Longfellow Glen. And does Fra mean brotherhood? Does anyone know? Brother? Yes. <coughs> okay. Brother Longfellow, Longfellow Glenn. And that is an unusual one. And it is signed CHS Wainwright. Is this the one you sent? Yeah, that's the new one I sent to the Wainwright. Okay, and what is the title of it? Does it have one? No, it's untitled. It's untitled. Pat just sent uh, me this one, and it has the house, you know, a, a lake. Are those some ducks? Yeah, I think there's but, three ducks in the pack. Uh -huh. But this is a brand new one. It's just been discovered. Gives us something to look for. Now this completes the pseudonyms that we have slides of. 